Hey everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. We're still here. Spooky season movie marathon, day seven. We're ending the first week with a bang. I, of course, am Tristan. Thanks again for joining me. And tonight we watched a little movie that I was not expecting called Till Death. Happy anniversary, pumpkin. Things have been bad between us, and I'm sorry. I know when surprise isn't going to fix everything. I love you with all of my heart. Till death do us part. Our list is, of course, being curated by Elia McCutcheon, a.k.a. Horror Movie Stills online, everywhere, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. Follow him. So he's curating this, and when he sent this movie over, I was bummed at first because... This is the Megan Fox horror movie. But I ended up saying, this is the Megan Fox horror movie. Till Death is about Megan Fox. And she's in this shitty, shitty, shitty relationship. And she, to try and make some sort of connection with her husband, agrees to go out to their lake house, cabin, in the middle of the winter, and have a little romantic getaway. And then, things get a little ooh, hot and heavy. What is this? Mark. Time to wake up. I prefer the honeymoon. That is our plot. And from then on out, we watch Megan Fox not only take this movie to another level, but her own acting persona. We watch scene by scene as she slowly builds into the badass heroine we always knew Megan Fox could be. This movie is a banger, and it is unexpected. It is completely surprising. I'm impressed you made it this far. There's one final surprise. And it's one of the best horror thrillers I've seen in a long time. I can't say enough about how much I wasn't impressed with this movie at the beginning. This movie is directed by someone named S.K. Dale. And stupid name aside, kudos, my man or woman. Holy shit. I've never seen anything by this person before, I don't believe. And I am thoroughly impressed, and I can't wait for another story from this director. Back to the beginning. It starts with way too long of a drone shot. Not gonna lie. And it starts to immediately feel amateurish, Instagram-ish, like it's a, just a commercial. The, the bokeh and beauty shots and slow-mo and framing all look just kind of like a fragrance commercial starring Megan Fox. Everything's a little too beautiful, a little too perfect, a little da-da-da. And I understand why that why the director chose to, to visualize that. I, I didn't get it in the beginning, and I was like, oh no, this is just going to be a long fragrance commercial. Elia! But... At the end of the first act, as soon as the ball drops and the husband's plan for her explodes, this movie is like a rocket ship that just takes off and is completely engaging, watchable, entertaining, stressful, brilliant, funny, they're so thrilling. Everyone involved steps up. Megan Fox, this is the best performance of her 
maybe since Jennifer's body, of her entire career. It's like a career-saving kind of performance. I, I mean, she is throwing everything acting-wise at, at the screen, and she's just nailing it. She really doesn't make a wrong step in this entire movie. She's not the Transformers girl anymore. Thank God. What a performance. I would say watch it just for that, but we're not done <laughs> with the kudos here because visually the movie has moments that are so worth the wait. There is some incredible cinematography and framing and use of movement and blocking as well that just like either fries your nerves or wows your, your senses. And you're like, okay, this is awesome. They're few and far between because truth be told, um, it's not, not, it's not a Terrence Malick movie. Not every frame is going to be this beautiful blah, blah. There's story to tell. There's character to introduce and dynamics to work and thrills to have and twists to expose. So when it reaches for really nice artistry, it nails it. The color tones, the palette, it matches the cold atmosphere and landscapes. It, it all works together really, really well. Every time a new problem comes around, every time another bump in the road hits our lead, you're treated to a sequence that will fray your nerves. <laughs> story's complexities never bog the pace down. The character dynamics are so good. It never fails like real tension. Even with a heightened kind of finale, it still feels real. It's just one of these wonderful surprise movies that becomes something you didn't think it could reach. This becomes a taut cat and mouse thriller. You can judge this movie based on the star and think, well, this is probably going to be dumb. And you could be that person. And for a second, I was. For the first 15 minutes of this movie, I was. I was wrong. And thank God I was. Because she ends up being the most important kind of character for these movies. Smart. And that's what really gets you invested. And we're off to the races. I am absolutely a fan of this movie. It proved its worth to me and proved itself to a very judgmental <laughs> movie watcher. And it totally won me over. And I suggest it highly. Rent it. Do whatever you can to check it out. You're going to have a thrilling night on your hands. Honestly, you can't go wrong. I can't believe I'm saying it. I am totally suggesting a Megan Fox starring movie. You know what I'm saying? Commit to the movie. Get past the first 15 awkward commercialized minutes because you're going to be treated to one of the most thrilling little cat and mouse movies you're going to see. No one needs to get hurt. I highly suggest it. I hope you guys check it out. Make sure to subscribe to our channel too. Come on, I highly suggest that as well because we got a bunch more episodes coming. You know, share this episode, like the episode. And Megan Fox forever, yo. Kill it, girl. Stay spooky, everybody. <laughs>